This will be the part three of the digital cluster retrofit on my BMW X3 F25. Today I'm in the parking lot of my building place where I live for the moment. Uh, I'm with my best friend here and I will um, try to do some modification on the harness for the exterior temperature sensor. If you watched, if not, I will leave some links down in this video description for the first part and the second part of this retrofit. But uh, last time when I did this retrofit, when I worked on this car for this cluster, I am on the exterior temperature sensor on the original cluster on the board that is inside of the dashboard. And on this cluster, I have mount a temperature sensor that was a different value. And even so, I didn't have a real temperature on the cluster, even if the temperature was from inside of the dashboard. That one was not real. So now I want to mount the exterior temperature sensor on this cluster for me to be able to see the exterior temperature. And on the original cluster, on the original board from the original cluster inside of the dashboard, I will mount the same an original BMW temperature sensor, but that sensor will stay and will measure the temperature from inside of the dashboard. Uh, since the last time when I have worked on this car for this uh, cluster. I think I drove this car for over two months. Everything was perfect, except there was there is a small thing when I'm using the turn signal and I cancel the turn signal. The outside turn signal will be canceled, will be off, but the cluster for a couple of seconds will still show me that it's signaling and sometimes it's annoying. And another thing, occasionally uh, I barely see it for a fraction of a second will appear and disappear down in the cluster a message about a uh, lighting system. And I suspect these two problems are caused by my fiber optic splice, my improvisation for the fiber optic splice. But I think uh, I don't have now the parts and the place to do that uh, work. But if I will have time and I will find another set of clusters, to retrieve the fiber optic terminal, the electronic fiber optic terminal, to do a digital splice for the fiber optic, I think then everything will be okay. And also I want to, maybe in the future, if I'll have time and I will find to buy an entire set of CIS and everything else with wires, with plugs, to create a bench test, like the one that I have back home in, in Romania, to be able to modify the board and to cut the board in, in a very small, uh, I don't know, sm smaller board to encase it in a nice case to have something more, more professionally inside of the dashboard. But until then, I will work with this one. So I have here a bunch of tools prepared, some gloves, everything that I need. I have the exterior temperature sensor if you watched, I uh, bought this in the last video from a pull apart junkyard and I will use this temperature sensor even if I have, yeah, I have here another exterior temperature sensor. I have that temperature sensor because I brought a, a LCI bumper to do a facelift retrofit on this car, but I'm not able to find a good set of headlights, LCA headlights for a good price to do that. So for the moment, uh, that one will stay in my storage unit. So first step, I need to remove the cluster from the dashboard. And I think I still, yeah, I still have the original keys to remove the cluster. First thing, I need to pull the steering column and I think I will need a new fake leather cover here because the clips are missing, are broken. So this thing won't stay here anymore. Something like that. We need to turn off the engine and the climate control. And as usual, with a special tool, I'll put it inside this hole. I will grab the tab, the metal tab, and pull it down. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Like so. And 
next step is to unplug the cluster first the fiber optic and next the power supply and now i can pull out with careful and as you can see the original cluster the board it's in its place nothing wrong everything is perfect so i need to unplug like so and to pull the harness out to find the clean and elegant way let's see so this is the temporary temperature sensor let me pull out the harness okay first thing first i need to remove this tape from the wires so this is the plug for the aftermarket cluster here i have that diode mounted for this cluster and the power supply spliced yeah i think i will uh, remove the pins from plugs and uh, move the pins from one plug to another so first i will remove the case i will mark with an x on this aftermarket cluster aftermarket plug for the aftermarket no this is the original plug for the aftermarket cluster okay next step the wires for the temperature sensor are these ones from here so it's a blue with brown and a blue with black from what i see so the blue with black is here and the brown is here to remove the pins from this plug is very simple you need to push down this tab just to release the pin not too hard because you'll destroy the pin once and you need to do it a second time here because we'll catch in this lip and the pin is released you see that small tab you need to push it down but you need to be careful not to push it too hard because you'll destroy the pin uh which one is this one let me see it's this one from here but here it's blue with red maybe that one was red also and the wire is too old so i will Sometimes the tab of the pin will catch inside of the plug and will create some problems. That's it. So I will pull back this wire and I will put it here inside of this plug I will take the other wire and I will mount it here like so and next the second wire the same steps here the same second wire Same steps, I will push it out like so. And this one from here, I'll put it on this plug back. Now I can put back the plug case 
one the second one and the original exterior temperature sensor will go for the aftermarket cluster and this one from here this temperature sensor will leave the chat and strip the wires like so next step i'll take my brand new used temperature sensor i will cut the wire from here i don't need an extra length like so I have a kit here with some shrink tubing. So I will need two small pieces. I'll throw them on the wires. Prepare the wires. Like so. And I said that the blue with black, it's with blue with red. Even so, it doesn't matter because this is a temperature sensor. It's a resistor. And the same blue with brown with blue with brown. I don't solder the wire because this is not a permanent solution. Oh, 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 don't go. Done. Nice. So now I have here the original tape. And I will use this for the original cluster. Something like that. Check my fiber optic splice. And to make sure that the fiber optic. Fiber optic uh, splice here. It's in a relaxed position. Like so. And now I will try to reconnect everything back. And now finally, after a couple of months, I need to have the correct exterior temperature shown inside of the car. Yeah! So let's see, three taps, one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Mm. Sometimes working, sometimes not working, but I told you, I suspect it's from my fiber optic splice. That one, that one is not um, sending the correct signals everywhere. 
And last thing, I need to set up the time. Time and date. Uh, it's it's eleven forty-five. Let's see. Eleven forty-five. I love it. Nice. And this was all for this video with my aftermarket cluster. If you didn't see the first and the second part uh, and you have questions, please go and see those videos. I will leave a link in the video description. But as a long story short, I needed to mount the original cluster, the board for the original cluster inside of the uh, dashboard because this aftermarket cluster is not capable to communicate with the car for the CBS data. The CBS data is the service intervals, oil change, brakes, uh, brake fluid and so on. Uh, and this aftermarket cluster won't show you errors, for example, a blown out bulb for your headlights and so on. Instead, we'll show you a check engine light. So for that, I have uh, wired in parallel an original cluster, only the board. I have removed the needles, uh, LCD display, everything from that and keep only the board. And now officially in this car, I have the original cluster. Even so, what I have done here on this car can be easily undone in a couple of seconds and I have kept the original cluster. So if I want to return this car to the factory spec, it's a easy peasy for me. Uh, so the cluster that I have here is not the original cluster for the car, it's another cluster. Next step is um, to find another donor cluster doesn't matter from which series it is, we need to be a cluster with fiber optic because I want to retrieve the fiber optic terminal from that cluster to do a digital splice for the fiber optic. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go and see part two of this uh, this video or part one. I don't remember which one. Go and see them both. Uh, and another thing that I want to do, as I told you at the beginning of this video, I want to make a bench test to take the board out from the car to have it on the bench and to start to remove components and maybe to cut the board because the board is bigger like the entire surface of the cluster. So I want to do it something a little bit smaller to be able to encase it in the nice case to do something clean, something elegant. But even so, everything is working and as I told you, I can restore this car to the factory specs in a couple of seconds. Um, I'm doing these videos, this type of job for you, for this channel. Uh, yeah, it's a nice cluster, but I'm not uh, dying for this cluster to have it on the car. And as I told you in the first uh, video, I have found this cluster used on uh, Facebook Marketplace very, very cheap. And that's why I have it here. With this, I want to thank you for being with me the same. My friend from here will thank you. If you learn something, if you like this video, if you like my work and what I'm doing here, show me by hitting the like button. Uh, thank you for watching these videos and for supporting me. And until next time, it was real. Stay awesome. Bye now.